I have what I hope is a tolerably simple system for teaching the footwork in lindy hop and related swing dances. Now a lot of beginners feel that they must know and master all the footwork and that there's a correct piece of footwork that they should do because that's what the teacher showed them. You should go rock step at this point and triple step at that point or whatever and if they do anything else uh, they'll just embarrass themselves. The move won't work because the footwork is wrong and the dance is the footwork and their partner will see they're doing the wrong footwork and it'll be so embarrassing. Let me reassure you. Everything is all right. There are, in fact, really only two kinds of footwork. All right, there are, there are some other types of footwork, but we don't need to know about those, not if you're a beginner. 99.972% of all the footwork done in Lindy Hop belongs to either type A or type B. And I'll be telling you what those are in a minute. But first, let me just run through what has become the standard footwork taught in dance camps all around the world for Lindy Hop. Um, it starts typically with a rock step. So I'm on my right foot, the lead, the, 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 the gentleman, if you like, of, of the partnership uh, starts on his right foot and the follow, usually danced by a, a lady, but not necessarily, not these days, we're very modern. In fact, even back in the day, it was, it was mix and match. She will be opposite me, mirroring, so her weight will be on her left foot. And I go, rock step. And you'll notice, because you're very keen sighted, that my weight is still on my right foot. So it starts here, rock step, and ends here. Now I'm going to transfer my weight. I go, step, hold. Yes, it's simply a step followed by a weight. Well, that can't be much easier now, can it? And uh, that takes us through three and four. Now I'm going to go walk, walk. Walk, walk, when demonstrated like this, looks a bit rubbish, I'll admit. But don't worry, when you're dancing, it'll look dynamic and great. You go walk, walk. I'm now still on my left foot. Now I want to transfer my weight back, and I do this with a simple step, hold. So single time is rock, step, step, hold, walk, walk, step. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't change where your weight is, then change, then don't change, then change. Double time, the weight changes are done with a kick drop instead. So it's one, two, kick, drop, walk, walk, kick, drop. One, two, kick, drop, walk, walk, kick, drop. Rock, step, kick, drop, five, six, seven, eight. And triple time uses a triple step. So this is one, two, and the triple step's got a little and in the middle of it. Triple step. Five, six is normal. Five, six, seven, and eight. But it still does the same job. It still transfers my weight. So I was on my left foot there, and I went triple step, and then I ended up on my right, which is handy, because that's where I want to be for the beginning of the next move. Rock, step, triple step, walk, walk, triple step. Oh, I can cycle, rock, step, and it can go on for Ever. So, in, a, in a, an eight count or a six count or however many beats you've, you're doing in a move, it's very handy to end up where you started. That is to say, with your weight on the same foot that you had at the start. So, that means that I want to do typically two changes of weight. I change weight from where I started, then I got to get back. So, I change weight back. So, if we categorize our building blocks into A's and B's, you can see that the two things, that, well, the one thing that we need to take into account is where is my weight? So, in the type A, if you like, those are the two beat long building blocks that don't change where your weight is. So, my weight is on my right foot, rock step, it's still on my right foot. If I go walk, walk, it's still on my right foot. If I go hop, kick, hop, kick, it's still on my right foot. Other footwork is available, but you get the idea. So, the type A is the type that doesn't change where your weight is. The type B, as you've guessed it, is the step hold or the kick drop, or the triple step, or the lunge slide, or the whatever that changes where your weight is. So, if someone has taught you a move that says, don't change weight, change weight, don't change weight, change weight, you can do your own footwork as long as you replace one building block, one two beat building block of one type, the type A say, with another that's also of the same type. So I could go rock step, triple step, walk, walk, triple step, that's what I was taught in class, but I could when I then get out on the dance floor and I'm doing my thing, cutting a rug to some swinging jazz from a great live band, I could go flick, bull change, kick, drop, walk, walk, kick, drop. And it comes to the same thing. But do you believe me? Can you rely on what I've been telling you? Does this system really work? Well, in order to uh, uh, make it clearer to you, I am, I am joined by the astoundingly able Laura Haltonen uh, here in the Jazz Factory in Helsinki. And, um, Perhaps we can, we can show you how it works. So, uh, if I were to do a rock step and she were to mirror me, it would look like this. Rock step. And then we can go around using the standard footwork. Triple step, walk, walk, triple step. 
all so far so standard. But what if I were to do a flick bull change at the start? A flick bull change has the same effect as a rock step. But note that she doesn't have to do it. So will she do a flick bull change as well? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Hop be da, dum be da, dum bum. I'm going to do it again. Hop be da, dum. Did she? Were you, were you watching? And one more time. Hop be da. Ah, she did that time. I saw it in the corner of my eye. So, if, if, if I do a variation, it doesn't have to put my partner off. She's fine. She's, she's a swinging jazz dancer. She can do her thing. So it, it, you're not going to be embarrassed if you replace a bit of footwork with another bit of footwork. You don't have to go, do it just the way that you were taught in the classes. Um, however, I could go further than that and say, do you know what? It's not really about the footwork at all. It's not really footwork. You see, you, a lot of you have seen those, those drawings where you have a picture of a foot, an outline of a foot, and then another one, and an arrow between the two, and a, and a number written next to it. And that's where you're supposed to put your foot on a particular beat. It's all very prescribed. And if you're not doing it just as it's written out on that mat on the, in, the, in that diagram, you're doing it wrong. No, you're not. In fact, we can get all these moves to work without actually doing any footwork at all. You see, it's all about connection and movement. That's what really makes this dance come alive. So, what if I were to replace all my footwork by simply rising up on the, my toes and just bouncing, double-footed, and do, that's it. I'm just going to bounce on my feet, and uh, it seems that uh, I can still dance with my partner. Home, be down, boom. Ba, be down, boom. Ba, be down, boom. Ba, be down, boom. Ba, be down, hey. Boom, boom. Ba, ba, da, zoom. Boom, ba, ho, ba, da, boom. Ba, boom, ba, ba, da, boom. Ba, boom, etc. You've got it. So there you go. You don't need footwork. In fact, I could do no foot. Should I do, I'll do no footwork. Okay, I'm just okay. I'm not recommending this one. If you just stand there like a pillar, you're not going to impress anyone. But possibly I could just go, boom, whoop, boom, 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 boom. I'm going to just bounce at the knees, just you know, to show willing, just to keep a pulse, boom, boom, and I'll just turn to face. So that's all right. Yeah, boom, ba, boom, but exit. Oh well, did, well, there we go. But you see. We're having too much fun already. Uh, so, it doesn't matter. That's my main message to you. It doesn't matter. Goodbye.